In today's video, I'm going to share with you my number one home remedy to stop urinary tract infections in its track. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. Please consider subscribing if you're new here so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you some strategies to help with urinary tract infections. So I have to admit, I personally have never had a urinary tract infection, but many and many of my patients have. So I'm very familiar with what it is and how to treat it. It can be very painful, painful urination, pelvic pain, lower back pain, burning upon urination. So it can be very uncomfortable. Before you run off to the doctor, you should try some of these natural strategies to see if you can stop it without having to resort to any medication. So first and foremost, first couple things I'm going to mention, you've probably already heard of, but I'm gonna to get to the number one remedy towards the end. Okay, so stay tuned. So first and foremost, you wanna make sure that you are well hydrated. And especially if you feel like a urinary tract coming on, you want to increase your water intake by quite a bit and drink it quite fast so you can really flush out the kidneys and bladder. So I'm sure you've heard of that one before. Another one you've probably already heard is cranberry juice. If you are going to use cranberry juice, make sure you use unsweetened cranberry juice, nothing like a cranberry juice cocktail because that just has sugar in it, which feeds bacteria. Okay, so cranberry juice is good, still not as good as the next couple ones. Okay, so another thing you've probably already heard, apple cider vinegar. This is sort of an overall general health tonic. It's great for balancing your pH in various parts of your body. Apple cider vinegar is very commonly used. And then another one, a natural antimicrobial that we're all familiar with is garlic. Garlic is an amazing, amazing plant that helps with so many things, especially when it comes to infections. So whether you're gonna eat garlic or take it in a supplement form, garlic is a very strong antimicrobial. Now, to help with keeping your bugs balanced within your body, especially within your gut, probiotics are also very useful, especially if you've taken multiple rounds of antibiotics in the past, if you've had UTIs before, probiotics are very useful. And also prebiotics of so foods that feed the good bacteria in your body, and then for Fermented foods are excellent natural sources of probiotics and of course you can also take a probiotic supplement so these are great remedies as well however the number one remedy that I use in my clinic for urinary tract infections both preventatively and when someone has one is something called D mannose powder this is a naturally occurring sugar don't worry it's not going to raise your blood sugar it's safe for diabetics or if you're doing a low carb diet it's a naturally occurring sugar uh, that is in things like cranberries and, and actually other berries. And what it does is it helps prevent bacteria from sticking to the lining of the urinary tract. So it's an excellent remedy that you can try for urinary tract infections, like I said, both preventatively and when you have an infection. So when you feel one coming on, you should use a higher dose of it. Just follow the amount that it says on the particular one that you have. Now, if you want to know the one that we use in our clinic, just put in the comments below d -manos and I will let you know the exact one that we use in our clinic. I'll send you a link to that, okay? So d mannose powder is the number one remedy that we use in our clinic and it works great. And for people who get them on a recurrent basis, I tell them to just use it as a prevention tool as well. Okay, so now if your UTI is not clearing up from some of these remedies that I mentioned on its own within say three to four days and you're still really having a lot of symptoms, it may have been too late or for whatever other reason, maybe your immune system isn't strong enough, you may have to resort to going to the doctor and maybe getting a medication. Now, I'm not a big fan of, of doing that, of course, as everyone who knows me knows that. However, if it, you're suffering, you may have to do this. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is if you do go to the doctor, see if they can run a test called the PCR test so you can determine exactly what kind of bacteria that you have and it will also tell you which antibiotic will work for that particular one because there's different strains of bugs and there's different antibiotics that work for the bugs. Now, as you probably know, we are becoming more and more antibiotic resistant as a culture because we're overusing them. So it would be good to know exactly if what you're gonna take is gonna work for that particular infection. So again, if you're gonna go to the doctor, find out if they can run a PCR 
PCR test instead of just a regular culture for the infection. Antibiotics should be the absolute last resort for this because we're using them too much, they interfere with our gut. And also, if your doctor is gonna recommend an antibiotic in the fluoroquinolone family, such as Cipro, you may wanna ask him to give you something else because these are the antibiotics that cause the most side effects and can be very dangerous lifelong. I have seen so many patients have problems with this type of antibiotic. So I just letting you know that there are other options and that should not be the first thing used for a urinary tract infection. All right guys, so leave in the comments below if you'd like to know the kind of D-mannose powder that we are using in my clinic. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope this was helpful. Please share, like, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.